Collier from Collingwood sent me a lovely email saying, Richo, can you show me how to make pizzas at home? All I do is buy takeaway pizzas and I want to learn how to make them. Well, Collier, this is a really quick and simple way of making it. I'm going to make some mini pizzas and I'll make them gourmet just for you. It starts with these three little pizza bases and I'll pop them onto a baking tray that's been lined with baking paper. That will stop them from sticking. Now we need to get our ingredients ready and I like to get the ingredients ready on the board first before I put them onto the pizza. Now salami you can put on in big thick pieces but I reckon if we're doing nice tiny little pizzas we'll shred them so they fall apart and spread all over the pizzas. Now I have some beautiful red peppers here. When you buy the red peppers, they come with some liquid or juice in them. So the trick is to strain off that oil like this, sometimes it's brine, and then take the peppers out with a fork like that. That'll make sure that the pizzas aren't too wet. Now another thing I like on my pizzas is mushrooms. And these mushrooms are delicious. Already pickled, so they're ready to go. And I'll just put a few of these onto the board as well. Now with the mushrooms, they're nice and big and fat and juicy. So Kolya, my trick is to slice them nice and thin. And they'll be able to be spread out on the entire pizza base. Nice and thin like that. You know what? We're ready to go. Now, you can't have pizza without some tomato passata. And my tip is to get a really thick passata. That will keep it nice and tomato and saucy on top without becoming too watery. Once you've got the tomato passata on there, smooth it around the outside like that so it looks nice and cute. You can imagine cooking this for little kids. You know, they can make their own little pizzas up, pop them in the oven, and a pizza this size will feed and keep a little kid very, very happy. Now, I like to put a few of the peppers around the outside. Not too much. The trick is not to overload the pizzas, but have a lot of this gourmet flavour all over them. So every single bite you take is delicious. Mushrooms on there, and then, of course, salami. Just sprinkle it around. I like to put the salami around the edges so when it cooks in the hot oven, it goes nice and crisp. Now, mozzarella cheese is my favourite and this is beautiful mozzarella cheese. I'll grab this and put clumps of it all over the outside of it. I love using this cheese and leaving it in big clumps like this because it melts and spreads out and becomes nice and gooey and tasty. That looks great. Now, all you need to do is pop this into an oven with the grill on nice and high and the oven nice and hot, and these will crisp up and melt beautifully. There you go, cute little pizzas, nice and crisp, thin base and gourmet toppings. That's what I love about a pizza. All you need to do is pop a little bit of basil on top. Have a look at it. It smells great, looks great, and is perfect size. I reckon I could nail 10 of these. What do you think, Kolya? Great pizza.